Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and as we continue looking at the privacy settings in Windows 10 May 2020 update and by the way a lot of these settings are the same for the May and November 2019 update. We are of course looking at what it all means and that might give you an idea if you want to keep it on or turn it off. Go into your settings app either by the bottom right in the quick actions or Start menu and settings gear. Go into privacy. The general privacy tab has uh, four settings. First one is let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you based on your app activity. Uh, turning this off will reset your ID. So what's that? Well, you've noticed that if you took some Microsoft um, store apps, there might be some ads in there. In certain cases, there could be some ads if you actually let these um, show up with the different settings in Windows that you can turn off actually, including in the start menu, uh, app suggestions, for example, could be there. Um, when you actually um, log into your Microsoft account, what happens is that Microsoft will create an advertising ID. It's a, it's basically a number that is given to you that means that the ads for you are, of course, um, based on the activity you have. So, for example, if you go online and check golf stuff and you play games that are golf games and you know, don't be surprised that everything related to golfing might show up in different um, ads around the system. And this is the advertising ID that does that. The advertising ID might look like it's kind of impending on your privacy a little, uh, but it's actually uh, anonymous. So they know that a specific ID, what they like and what they do, in order to give ads, but they don't know that it's you. They can't pin it down specifically to a user. So it is anonymous in the way that they do it, but they do some tracking, of course, for this to happen. Now, turning this off does not change anything. Turning this off will simply mean that the ads you have will be random instead of being specific to your activity. So basically, you still have ads. It's just that the ads won't be tied to your activity because by turning it off, you won't be uh, or won't get a specific ID, uh, ID to to kind of you know send you the ads that they want. So you'll be at you know seeing random ads rather than regular ads. So if you're turning this off to remove ads, it doesn't work. But if you're turning it off because you want a little more privacy, that will work because it will kind of not really have a tracking. It will reset every time you turn on your computer. The second one is let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. So this means if you have a PC, for example, I speak French and English. Of course, I have both languages installed. That means if I go on the web browser, like I use Microsoft Edge, I do some online stuff. Well, you know, from time to time, you notice that some online websites, some websites will ask you if you want to, you know, uh, the, the uh, website to get your location. Because, for example, if you're on a weather website, your location is very useful in knowing what weather is going to give you. So when you do that, um, if you go online shopping, for example, maybe you're searching for some good pizza. Well, what happens here is that some local websites and some local um, businesses might be specifically for a specific language. So if you speak more than one language, it actually will go and fetch everything that is on the languages that you understand according to your PC. So that means that if you have French and English and German, well, don't be surprised that all of these or all the businesses that have these different languages that they use will pop up. If you only have one language, of course, it will be always in that language. Let Windows track app launches in, to improve start and search results. 
So basically that will simply look at all the different apps you use on your PC. And depending on the apps you use, of course, that means you could have um, search suggestions or search results in the, when if you, you go to Windows search, that are dependent a little more on what you do with your PC because it knows that you like specific types of apps. So if you're just gaming all the time, well, you might have search results that are more into gaming and gaming PCs and, and stuff like that, where um, that's why they actually do this. And you can, of course, turn it off to uh, not track app launches or anything that will stop the tracking for the apps. And finally, show me suggested content in the settings app. So this is dependent on what you do once again. So the suggested content depends on what you are going to search for the settings and will be um, suggested upon your usage of the computer also at the same time. So that is uh, something that you can actually pop in the settings and say, well, you know, you've been doing this. We have this that could be uh, relevant to what you're searching for and so on. Once again, all of these are tracking you in some way. So one of the things you can do, of course, if you want to minimize tracking in Windows is to turn them all off. Remember that the first one, it's still going to give you ads. They'll just be random rather than specific. But by turning off all four here, you will be more or less a little more anonymous if you want, even though, like I said, they're not technically attached or tracking you specifically as a user, but more your usage uh, in an anonymous way. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.